Hello, this is the next video in troubleshooting why a vehicle may not start. Uh, and in fact, uh, this wasn't my problem, but um, but it could be yours that it starts and run, starts up okay, but shortly after it starts, it will stall. And uh, that could be due to a plugged exhaust system. And uh, there are a couple of different uh, reasons that could happen. Um, the most likely reason is the catalytic converter is plugged. Inside the catalytic converter there are a bunch of beads, like silicone beads and kind of in a honeycomb type of uh, arrangement. And uh, they get super hot and they burn any unburnt um, uh, you know, gases and chemicals and that kind of stuff that come out of the engine before they go out into the atmosphere. They're reburnt or burnt at a higher temperature in the catalytic converter and the effect is it's a great emission control and keeps the uh, toxic emissions down. So the downside is these catalytic converters can plug up and they can do that if you have a very rich running uh, vehicle, uh, which mine was, and I was worried that it ran rich for a while and plugged the catalytic converter. Uh, in the end it did not and how I figured that out was, uh, I remember in my earlier videos I said the truck eventually would not start. Um, and so that is not an indicator of a plug catalytic converter, I don't think. I guess in an extreme case, if the converter was 100% plugged, it could make it hard to start, but um, that usually doesn't happen. The other symptom I had was as soon as I'd get the vehicle up over idle, uh, it had loads of power at 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 RPM, worked great, and that's not a symptom of a plug catalytic converter either. So. Anyway, regardless, uh, I thought I'd tell you about how I would check it if I, if I was suspecting that. And uh, if the engine uh, won't start, then, um, then crank it over and have someone put their hand near the exhaust pipe. Or if you're like me and you never have a helper, uh, stick a cloth or a rag or something up the tailpipe. Don't jam it in there super tight or anything, but just kind of place it up there and then run around to the driver's side and try to crank it over. And if the rag gets spit out of the tailpipe, you know that there is some exhaust gas that's being pushed out there. Um, the other way that if, you're, if you suspect there's a fully blocked catalytic converter and it won't start, um, or if it runs but uh, doesn't run super, super well, the, the other way that you can test it is remove the oxygen sensor and relieve the pressure upstream of the catalytic converter and uh, if you have a vehicle with two oxygen sensors, this one only has one above the cat, but I guess some vehicles have them in multiple places, uh, remove the oxygen sensor above the catalytic converter, like between the cat and the engine, start it, and if it all of a sudden runs better, well, then that would indicate a blockage on the cat. The other thing you can do, apparently there are uh, pressure gauges that you can screw into the oxygen sensor hole and measure the pressure and see if that tells you anything. The other thing I've seen is there's a great video on YouTube from a guy, I don't know who, forget what it is, but if you search for plug catalytic converter, you'll probably find it. He drills a hole in the exhaust above the catalytic converter and measures the pressure using a gauge, and then he drills a hole after the catalytic converter and measures the pressure, and if there's a significant difference, then you know that the catalytic converter is causing the blockage. And then he also, it, the kit or whatever it was that he had, came with some rivets that he used to plug the holes back up that he drilled. So that's what I would recommend on plugging a catalytic converter or checking for a plug cat converter. The other thing is if it is super plugged, they can get, apparently they can get really hot. And uh, if you drive over like dry grass in the summer or you're off-roading or something, I've heard that they can actually catch stuff on fire. So uh, they'll glow cherry red and, and uh, be very dangerous. When it comes to replacing a catalytic converter, they're usually very expensive to replace. Even aftermarket, they're, they're expensive. And uh, one thing to keep in mind is by law, I think, in the U.S. at least, maybe all of North America, the vendors, uh, the manufacturers are required to have very long warranties on the catalytic converters, like eight years or seven or eight years, unlimited mileage, that kind of thing. So before you go and buy a new catalytic converter, even if it's aftermarket, check with your dealer to make sure that it's not still warrantied because it might be. Uh, that's not the case on a on a 17 year old truck like this but anyway something to keep in mind. Okay thank you. Good luck with your uh, catalytic converters.